Hello! Today I will be demonstrating some of the basic functionality currently implemented in the two playable prototype demos for the Bees project. The aim of this project is to educate users about the anatomy of honeybees. Both of these current iterations are prototypes. We'll be starting with the gray box prototype, which is the earliest of the two playable demos. The first feature I will be showing you are the rotation sliders. These sliders allow the user to rotate the model in all three axes around the environment. The first one is the Y axis, which as you can see, rotates the model left and right. Next is the Z axis, which rolls the model forward and backward. The third one is the Z axis, which rotates the model around its left and right sides. The next feature here is the model scale slider. This allows the user to make the model larger or smaller. As you can see, we also have reset buttons allowing the user to reset the model's rotation and size. The next feature is the moving object slider. This slider allows the user to expand the model into its component pieces, spreading them out apart from each other. Each one of the blue cubes in this scene are part of a ratio movement set. These ratio movement objects allow the blue cube to move from the green sphere, which is the starting point, towards the red sphere, which is the ending point. As the user moves the moving object slider, each one of these blue cubes will move further away from the starting point and towards the ending point, or vice versa, depending on which direction the user moves the moving object slider. The next feature is the group selection feature. This allows the user to select discrete groups of objects to move together rather than moving every piece of the model simultaneously. The next feature is the Show Group Colors feature. This feature changes all of the objects in a specific group to represent the same color. This makes it easier for the user to tell which objects are included in which groups. Next, I will be showing the placeholder prototype. In this prototype, I've replaced the initial gray box cubes and spheres with a placeholder model of a bee. Here we see the model being rotated using the rotation sliders. First, left and right around the y-axis, then forward and backwards around the x-axis, And finally, left and right around the z-axis. You can also see the reset rotation button being used. Next is the moving object or object spread slider. This slider allows the user to spread portions of the model out away from each other, expanding the model to get a better view of the individual components. Using the group selection buttons in the top left hand corner of the screen, the user can select individual groups of items to move with the slider. Each one of these groups, once selected, can be spread apart individually, as opposed to moving all of the pieces of the entire model simultaneously.
The last item on this groups list is labeled left side. This functionality is designed to exhibit a side slice style of functionality. Once we get more detailed interiors built for the model we finally use, this function will allow the user to get a better view inside of the B model by either expanding one half of the B or by hiding that half. The next features deal with the labels. The first button here is the show all labels. As you can see, this displays the labels for every object currently in the scene. The next button is the show group labels button. This item will make it so that the user only displays the labels corresponding to the group they currently have actively selected. Next, we have the mouse click functionality. This functionality allows the user to click on any individual piece of the model, and that piece will then be selected. If the labels are on, this will either display the labels for the group associated with that piece, if the show group labels button has been pressed, or will show exclusively the label for the specific item clicked on, if the Show Target Labels button has been pressed. The Show Target Labels button will only display the label of the currently targeted object. The next feature is the model scale slider. This allows the user to make the model larger or smaller. You can also see the use of the reset scale button, which returns the model to its original size. Next is the mouse look feature. This feature allows the user to change the angle of the camera. To change the angle of the camera, Move the mouse while holding down the right mouse button. This will pan the camera in the direction that the mouse is moving. The next feature is the center camera button. When the camera has been moved off to one side or another, and the user would like to recenter the camera to its original position, clicking the center camera button will return the camera to its original orientation. Next is the center on target button. This button allows the user to focus the camera on the currently selected target object. The user can do this by clicking on an object with the left mouse button, and then clicking the center on target button. Doing so will focus the camera on the currently selected target object. Next are the Hide or Show Group buttons. Clicking the Hide or Show Group button will hide or display the corresponding group. 
These buttons are displayed as small icons just to the right hand side of each of the group selection buttons. These buttons are displayed with a small icon of an eye on it. 